are you in the market for a screen like this? Now this is 1920 by 1080 resolution and this is the BenQ BL2 76 HD 27 inch just monitor, forget business because it's good, got good, good colour reproduction on it and stuff like that. But we're going to test it anyway. It'll be good for gaming and other stuff as well. And obviously video editing because if it's got good um, obviously colour grading, um, reproduction and stuff, then it's going to be good for like Adobe and like all the other software out there. Yeah. But anyway, so I've got it in this orientation right now. As you can see, this screen is like 200 and... 15 pound and uh, of the time of this video so it's quite a good deal for a 1920 by 1080 resolution screen this is 27 inches diagonally across it's got a few function buttons that are very like simple and easy to manage and uh, we've got a lot of things to talk about and coverage uh, about like obviously trying to do a few games and try out for video production but as you can see I've got it like this and I could just grab another bit of a uh, web site as you can see and start stacking it onto each other and that's what I like about it it's just it's quite cool that you can do stuff like this or you can have it in the other orientation or imagine reading like big paragraphs like the big te telegraph do you know what I mean it's really really nice and it's better this display is awesome it's got a nice stand it does swivel left and right and it does go high and adjustment but we're gonna have a look at that but first of all the graphics card I'm using is a G, not GTX 580, it's um, a Sapphire 580 graphics card, so the resolution and everything's all up to date, runs on Vulkan and all that sort of stuff, and I've got all the newest hardware, and I'm running it on this screen, and it's running through HDMI. It also has a 3.5mm jack, two of them, one for headphone jack, and one for, um, if you want to plug in, say, some speakers, you could do, and it's got its own little amplifier built in into the actual... Uh, that's called it a laptop then the monitor screen as well uh, the screen is a matte display as well so it's got a slight shade of black over the top and it gives it that nice contrast and basically I've got this the Sun it's beaming down on the actual monitor and we're testing it to see if there's any glare can you see any glare how does it look to you from any point of view it's not too bad I actually do like this screen straight away out of the box it comes with a HDMI lead, a DVI sub, a 3.5mm dual uh, connector so you can connect obviously speakers and stuff like that to it. And it comes with obviously your mains. It doesn't have a power brick, it just has a straight cable with a kettle end which goes straight into the back of the monitor. And everything's all cut in and nice and tidy, it looks wicked. But yes, as I said, we're going to go into like some parts that make more sense with the specifications of like the color contrast um, how it swivels how much it tilts how much it, how high it goes and uh, yeah let's uh, have a look so let's go through the specs real quick it's a 27 inch monitor with 1920 by 1080 resolution and an aspect ratio of 16.9 and a response time of 14 milliseconds it's also got 16.7 million display colors it's built-in speakers are well, we'll find out. And a built-in DVI port, a built-in HDMI port, a VGA input, and a built-in 3.5mm headphone jack. And also another 3.5mm jack to add in some additional speakers. Special features, BenQ focuses on caring for your eyes. They do this by using flicker-free technology which stops flickering at all brightness levels. They also use anti-glare matte finish display so that there are no unwanted reflections that the screen from the sun otherwise. As well as low blue light to help you focus and reduce the blue light output and go to bed when you need to go to bed because the blue light affects your sleeping patterns. And there's no doubt about it because that's what I do on the regulars. It's got a frameless design, a slim bezel for wider and better viewing angle. You can tilt the screen down and up and swivel left and right to create your own perfect viewing position as stated from the start of the video. The screen can pivot up to 90 degrees and it uses IPS in plane switching technology to bring the full potential of colours and image reproduction when you're watching. So since I have this beautiful screen set up I want to talk to you a bit about the controls. Now the controls it's got one, two, three, four, five buttons on the side here. So when you've got it tilted on horizontal base and then you're fiddling around with the button 
they're quite easy to touch and feel and you can kind of stroke and press the menu and then you can use and then you can follow the instructions kind of where you need to use like the plus and minus is for like up and down the menu is to go back and exit and auto can get you into menus and then obviously you've got power button which is off so the other four buttons are relevant and then the power buttons are sort of on and off and you also got an LED light underneath which is to indicate whether it's on or it's on standby mode or it's completely off so that's pretty cool my only little gripe is that you can press the menu button right now and what happens is, is I'll turn it off by accident, but I'm going to turn it back on. And then we've got the BenQ right there. But why can it, it's, it's in, and you can see what I'm talking about now. So if I press the uh, menu button, which is not that one, it is that one. Right, so I've got the menu button and I'm going up and down. But as you can see, I've got to turn my head like this, just to be able to, uh, look at the screen obviously if i have it the other orientation in horizontal mode then i can actually play around with the settings properly but it would be a nice little feature if they could have it so you've got a button that you can press a portrait or horizontal mode or portrait or landscape mode and then basically you can press the button if you've got it in portrait mode and it's just simple and you don't have to keep moving around because obviously you've got the cables in the background could potentially bend the hdmi port or any sort of ports that you've got plugged in or accidentally take out the kettle lead in the back so that would be just an idea, thank you. Hey, 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 hey. But anyway, other than that, I like the way the menu layout is. I'm going to switch it back around. So I've got to do this, and then I've got to do that, and then I've got to do that, and then I've got to put it back up to where it was. Then I'm all in this position now of how do I get out of this. So now I've got to turn my mouse there and then go to display settings and then I've got to find portrait mode without being stupid and then change it to landscape which is there is coming and it's the keep changes right so now I'm back to where I am so it's a really nice feature that you can obviously turn such a not such an expensive monitor plus you got the tilt look, look at this, look at this, look at that look at that for a tilt you can stand up have this in a restaurant or business, whatever you want to do, you can have it so you can stand up and it, like, you got it at an angle, you got it at an angle. Well, uh, I'd say this is probably about 30, 40 degree angle. We're gonna go through the specs anyway about that. But the sun is beaming behind me and I can still see the whole screen. It doesn't look wishy-washy or anything like that. It's not the strongest contrast ratio of looking at a screen. But it's there, I can see everything. And I'm talking about, it's a really sunny day here. There's hardly any clouds, it's beautiful, and it's just on the screen, and it's perfect for this review today. So now I can do that, and then I've taken it by about five degree angle, and as you can see, it's still perfect. And I can turn the screen, just with one hand, and then I can turn it back that side as well. And you can see the view angles are nice and sharp. Have it like that. You can have it like that. If you're really short, have it really low down, or if you have your chair really low down, you like one of them gang bangers, you just want to relax and well, actually, a gang bang wouldn't even be on a computer, I don't think. Actually, saying that, oh, what can I say? Who would be on the computer that's really flat down? I don't know, I, I don't really know. Leave it in the comments down below. Anyway, if you're all like really low down, you can have your seat really low down, and you can just have viewing angles still. Look, look at that. You still can do everything that you want to do, and it's this low. But I like it nice and tall. That means you don't need to have something on a desk so it makes it higher, and you don't get a stiff neck or anything like that. This is very customizable, very modular. I really do like it, and I do like the fact that you can stack websites in a portrait mode as well. Really quite cool. But as I said, the menu, the menu, sort the menu out. But anyway, let's go through the menu real quick. So you've got height position with OSD set up, and then viewing position 50 timeout 10 so it gives you like 10 seconds and it'll time out then you can change your languages there it goes 10 seconds it's gone and right as it says there this is the little instructions i'm saying so you've got auto exit and then plus and minus to move and menu to select so we're going to go up and you've got rgb which is color temps and at the moment it's on warm and it's got red 50 green 30 uh no green is actually 38 and blue is 28 so what it's trying to tell me is that you can mix the colors and get a nice sort of either vibrant 
or contrast. You know, like when you're playing around your TVs, I don't even know if anyone really plays with their smart TVs anymore. When it comes down to doing anything contra con uh, contrast and ratio, or gamma and all that sort of stuff to get the perfect viewing angles. Normally, I've bought this TV, it looks lovely, stick it on the wall, same with the monitor, and they play around with it. Now, obviously, the professionals either are going to use glasses so they can eliminate the kind of white, strong bleed in the background, which does affect your eyes. If you're looking at monitors every time, it's going to affect your eyes. Now, with this screen, if you don't have glasses, it's, it's already built into the screen. You can mess around with it, and it's got eye care. And the eye care is really quite cool. At the moment, my eyes do not even hurt at the moment at all. And I'm used to being on the computer screen like 24-7. I'm used to using my mobile phone, tablets, going home, looking at a, a massive TV, constantly watching stuff through the monitor on the computer 24-7. And this monitor feels really relaxing. Which is not going to be good for business, is it, BenQ? Because if it's really relaxing, that means no one's going to do any work. They're going to fall asleep, aren't they? <sighs> so we're on BenQ's like, website, and this is the website for this monitor. And I like how it's all presented, or presented, I should say. Speak English, will you? Anyway, 140, as I said, up and down, 140 mil, depending on the height and how you want your own preferences. A full 90 degree angle, but you've got to do this first. A full 90 degree angle of the monitor, and then we'll spin it around this way. And it's nice and stiff and sturdy. 20 degrees facing this way, and an additional five degrees that way, and 45 degrees that way, and 45 degrees that way. And it's quite simple. Because the base comes separate, all you need to do is find the hole and screw it in. And then once you screw it in, the base is done, the monitor is done, and it's simple. That's the main thing as well. Having a monitor that's simple, get all the cables out, plug it all into the computer, and stick the base on so you can just ready and go. And obviously, it's a lovely frameless display, so boardless, I like that. But you can see that there's a board there, but it's inside the screen. It looks like it actually rolls around the screen a little bit. It looks like something that is pretty awesome. I didn't even notice that actually. Okay. Well, this screen is kind of futuristic more than what I thought. Oh, okay. So when if you look at a normal te technology screen, you'll notice that the screen, when I'm looking at it bang on, it looks flat. But if you look at it, it looks like it's on like a roll of paper and it's rolled off to the edge. It looks really, really it looks really cool, I love it. I love how I do that. Now, is this monitor flicker free? Caring for your eyes, flicker free. So they've got a mobile phone. I've got a mobile phone. I make that bims o'clock. So what I'm gonna do is get my camera out and hope for the best, please, because I do like this monitor. Is it is it gonna flick? Is it gonna flick? Is it gonna flick? It doesn't flick. It, it does not flick. Which way do I need it? I need it at that angle. Okay. But if I was to go closer, all the RGB. Uh, I'm sorry, but this, this screen is pretty good. So you've got the low blue light. And I'll tell you what, my eyes feel so relaxed and really nice at the moment. And I'm not just saying that. You need to go and test this out for yourself. If you used to monitors that are really bright and they're bleeding loads of white light in the background to make it look so sharp and vibrant, you'll notice the difference of this monitor. It really is really nice. And for 215, 220, 19, 20, 10, 80, 27 inch, decent. Uh, to enable improved focus address potential concerns over the amounts of blue wavelength light output. BenQ's low blue light technology can automatically reduce blue light output depending on the mode you select. Multimedia, web surfing and office. So it's all there. They're all thinking about the actual consumer itself. Anti-glare. Am I lying? No. It is so sunny outside here. And it's bang. It's right there in front of us. So it's got anti-glare. An anti-glare matte finish display. Keeps distracting. Keeps distracting reflection to a minimum. Yes. There's no distraction there at all. So office workers can work through the day to do their day-to-day -day with, what? Let me go back and read that properly. 
So office workers can work through their day to day tasks with well improved efficiency and squint free. Okay, I get that. It's pretty cool. Alright. They claim it's got wire viewing angle with IPS technology, which we already know, in plane switching, that's what IPS stands for. Uh, with the technology, you see accurate color image reproduction from any angle and expansive 178 viewing angle is great for work for reviewing on screen with multiple people in the room. Well, I've got multiple people in the room and they've clarified it. Just believe me, they clarified it. But anyway, I love this because I've already done it already and you've already seen it. So you, you should believe me on camera. And obviously, it's got no flicker, so the camera should work. I've tried this out and yeah. So now I'm just going to show you a few things that you can do with the monitor itself and then we'll get to the gaming part and we'll do a little bit of, uh, I don't know, we'll do something. But anyway, at the moment I've got no orange tint at the moment, I've just been mucking about with the actual monitor. Normally you go into the menu and then you've got these functions here and you can go up, 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 and up, and up, and up, and down. And basically now you can see that I've got things that are activated so I can muck about with the luminance. Contrast, uh, brightness, eco mode, DCR, and am I high? Don't know. Am, am I high? Okay. Right. Um, then we've got image setup, clock, phase, height position, V position, image ratio, wide. Okay. Um, and then you've got color temp. So I can go in here and I can go blah, blah, blah. No, I can't. I can go like that. Blah, blah. As you can see, the colours are moving on the screen. So you've got cool, you've got normal. Normal looks quite nice. It looks like still bright and vivid. Warm is like very gentle on my eyes and stuff like that. But if you're going to do anything to do with film production, you can't really use it because it kind of puts you off with the grading you're meant to be using for it. So you need to have everything as normal and flat. And you've got SRG, RGB. God damn it. Let's go into there, and then we've got user, which can make your own own preferences, red, green, and blue, RGB, own uh, prime colors, mix them up yourself, and get your own preference of color. And then uh, obviously you've got cool, which looks really cool. It's got added a bit of uh, orange and blue tint to it. Looks cool, and then normal. So now I'm just gonna get out of this. So let's play furthermore with this actual monitor. So we know auto does that. It's so you've got your uh, heads, headings for D sub, DVI, HDMI. And then you know that you've got by 10 seconds, that's enough. And then you know you've got your uh, minus and plus, which does this for your colors. Well, I don't know if I've actually done that for the video, but I'm doing it now, ain't I? So you've got off, which is low blue light, and then you've got low blue light office, and then low blue light for web design, web surfing, uh, low blue light for multimedia, and then off, which is quite vibrant. And it stays on for 10 seconds. You can change it so it's longer and stuff like that. To honestly, all the comments that I've had down below about BenQ, I hope I am actually covering enough information about this monitor. So you can't really have a go at me. I'm actually doing more than what I should be normally doing, but I hope I'm actually helping you at the same time. And obviously plus, that does volume. So you've got audio stick, HDMI audio, and it's like 70 volume. You put 70 on a TV, see the difference. Right, so now I'm going to go to um, YouTube quickly. And I'm going to play one of my videos. It has, it has the lowest volume in history. What is the point of putting speakers on there? Let me turn it up for you so you can hear it. Volume's at full. Full volume. <laughs> PC order. Hey, Shimolder. PC order, HM older. 
So what we have here, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, speakers that are relevant to be put on there. But I just like to monitor, to know that you're, you've got everything plugged up and everything is in and you're certified that it's in. At least you can just kind of use the monitor, plug it in and then you can know like if there's any sound and that. And that's all I would use it for. You can't really use it for anything else. Or if you live in the countryside like I do and you really, really want to make sure no one hears you, use that. Anyway, sorry for taking the mic, but I don't know. <laughs> right, so I'm still going to muck about in the menu a little bit more. So we've got luminosity, brightness, eco mode, standard. Let's go into that quickly and see what's different. So let's go into standard eco mode. So we've got eco text. Okay, internet. The internet. Game. Oh, we've got game mode. Okay, movie, sports, and that. That's pretty cool. I do not know what uh, DCR means, though. What is that for? Okay, so you can just have it on and off. That's pretty cool. Um, So yeah, it says resolution at 1080p, H frequency 67 kilohertz, and V frequency is at 60 hertz. So okay, and we've got OSD on screen display set up. Right. So if I go into which one do I want to go into? Select and height position to move up and down, and vertical position horizontal and vertical. Right. Get in there. Come on. Right. So menu. Horizontal moves across 100, 95, 90, 85, and so on, 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 so on. Then we get it back to in the middle, which is 50. Go down. Oh, I got rid of it by accident. Sorry. Which one is it? Menu down. Vertical position. Menu again. Yeah. So if you want to check out like where you want the screen to be, you could have it over here. You could have it anywhere, to be honest with That's pretty awesome. At least it shows you exactly where it is to get it. Bang, smack, bang in the middle, because technically people like me that have got OCD, you've got to make sure everything's all straight. Um, time out, so you can have it from 5 seconds, 10 seconds, 15 seconds, all the way to 1 minute, I guess. No, all the way to 100 seconds. 1 minute 30. That's pretty cool. So you can have the menu on there for 1 minute 30 if you really choose to. Or you can have it for 5 seconds, which I'm going to have to 4. Now, 1, 2, 3, 4, bye. Goodbye. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do some gaming now. I want to see what the games look like and see if they're vibrant, see if they're still rich, or see if it hurts my eyes, gives me headaches or anything like that. And I'm also going to see if I can do anything else work related because this is a business monitor. But Yes, as you know from me, I do a lot of video production, graphic design, and After Effects animation and renders and stuff like that, and gaming. So this is a good all-rounder for £220, but we want to see how it works performs, so let's, let's get involved. <laughs>
this screen is for you. That's all I'm gonna say. Subscribe now, share, like, favorite this video. Ha ha ha! This screen is awesome. I like it. 220 pound. You can do so much for 220 pound. 250 to 215, 220. Not bad. I like the screen you can do. It's going to portrait mode. It's got plenty of room and options and choices to make. You got all the tilts there. You can play games on there. The color reproduction is really good. Um, I was checking out the color sort of ratio that I've got. Yeah, illustration. Illustration. What is that? Illustration. And it's really awesome. I don't have video um, production stuff on this computer. This is my test computer. So, yes, yeah, slap on the wrist. I know I should have that on there. It's on my other computers. But I can see by the color content that it, the, the color is really quite accurate. It's really nice. But to be more accurate out there, I would actually need to have a monitor color um, chart thing so I could actually see if it's really accurate as what I see it is. But yeah, it's awesome. I would definitely recommend this for video production. Um, anything to do with video production, obviously 4K is like the norm and 6K and 8K. Not, not the norm, that's really expensive, but the norm for cinema and stuff and all that. But like for at work, 1920 by 1080 is still industry standard for people that are just wanting to do video production. It's still quite sharp. Technically 1920 by 1080 raise, uh, uh, ratio is technically 2K. But it's not really, like 2560, uh, 1440p is like basically a resolution is up. Like, it's, oh, it's all confusing. Anyway, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If not, dislike it, leave a comment down below, subscribe, share the video, have a look at my merch store, hats, hoodies, cups, mugs, even that motorbike. You can buy that motorbike on, online if you, trust me, you can go on there, you can, have, link in the description down below. Go and find out. Um, oh, what else is there? I don't think there's anything else. Oh, follow me on all social media platforms. Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram if you want to see update pictures and all that sort of stuff. And I'll see you next one. Thanks for watching. I hope you out there all have a great day. And also, I hope I all sorted out all the information for all you people that talked about that old BenQ in the link description below. That's the other BenQ like, monitor. Have a look at that one. And then come back and tell me if I've done a great job on this one. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up. See you later.